Look at this. Wow. We're, uh, we're in Houston. Um, Houston, we have a date um, that probably won't work. <laughs> People always ask us our success rate, and this is exciting. We officially now, and we've done I think like probably 500 shows at this point. We have uh, we have two couples that now live with each other. And a city like Houston that excites you guys, because don't you get married at like 19 here? <laughs> Love that. Oh, I wish I grew up in a place like that, um, because I've always wanted to be a part of incest. Uh, <laughs> Who in this beautiful Houston crowd, who's single? I like, you guys look like a big group session about to happen. <laughs> Except the guys want the group session and the girls don't. <laughs> We're siblings. You're si oh, they're siblings. <laughs> All right, we're, we'll save that for Alabama. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nicholas. Give it up. Nicholas, thank you for coming on our show in Houston. Greatly appreciate. Thank you for having me. Uh, we don't do age profession on our show. Those of you uh, who know the show, that's the rule. We make it about you. Um, you know, um, your age is only cool if it's underage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we're then we're interested in that. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, Nicholas, what do you want to tell the crowd about you? So if it doesn't work with your date tonight and someone from this room comes up, what would you want them to know? What would make them want that big pink shirt? Well, if I'm confident enough to wear pink, then that means, I mean, I must be the right guy, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I, that is true. So, you're, so where does your confidence come from? Uh, I would say my confidence just comes from my experience. To be to, for real. And what kind of experience is that? Uh, experience in the bedroom, experience with going on a lot of dates. Oh my God. So, so what's your um, experience in the bedroom? What have you learned in there? Um, because um, I haven't learned a lot yet. <laughs> uh, I learned that it's not always about, you know, satisfying your needs. It's about satisfying her needs. That's a man right there. Yo, ladies, make some noise if there's nothing better than a guy that satisfies your needs. So describe them what it takes. How do you um, fulfill a girl? Like, talk about what you do to give. Well, the first thing is communication. You gotta ask her what she wants in the bedroom. Oh my God, he's a student. <laughs> And what kind of words are you using in this situation? There's really two words. And what are those? Harder, faster. <laughs> what about slower? <laughs> the word that I always receive is finish. <laughs> and I'm like, I already did. <laughs> Um, so what kind of a girl do you work with, especially with arms like that? <laughs> uh, well, physically, I'm attracted to a girl that works out, a girl that's fit, and uh, definitely a girl with a butt. What about, we're in Texas, what about cle uh, breast? I don't mind a good pair of breasts, but I'm all about the butt. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> You're a nice looking guy, um, uh, you know, you, you're doing, you, I'm seeing, liking what I'm seeing. Uh, so have you ever been um, uh, rejected or ever had a hardship? Have you ever had a hardship? For sure, I mean, I've been, uh, I've been cheated on in my last one's relationship and I haven't been in one since then, so I feel like it kind of has some, some scarring effects. Oh, wait, that means, uh, Nick, I, I, don't, I don't know if you gave enough then. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's, that is hard. And how, how did why that do you, And why do you think she cheated on you, Nick? What was the situation? Well, it was partially long distance. So that probably had something to do with it. Did she, um, how did you find out she cheated on you? Uh, through some of her friends. And, the, oh, those are sh shitty friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick, um, I'm good friends with your girlfriend. <laughs> um, well, her friends didn't like me, so I think they kind of made it a point to. Fuck her friend, yeah. I, I, well, I, I did fuck her friend, that's why they didn't like oh! Yo, 
I like when this turns into like a rap. <laughs> Is who did you enjoy fucking more, her or her friend? Uh, my, my girlfriend, for sure. She had the biggest ass in... in wow, you, you, are, you, are we with Drake or something? Like... And Nick, what physical feature that you have do you think turns on girls the most? Well, the first thing that gets girls going is what kind of sucks being on the show is my eyes. Um, I got green eyes. What's something you normally wouldn't tell anybody that's kind of private? Um, that's because, you know, it, it, one of the things that people love on our show are things that, like, you know, are disarming, right? Um, you know, um, that's kind of what we do here. So what is the private thing that you're going to tell the crowd so we can really know you and understand what your date's going to be like, Mr. Mr. Nick? Are we talking just, like, in the bedroom or are we just talking in general? In general. In or, general? I mean, or I don't know what the fuck uh, you're doing. Yeah. I feel like he's only in the bedroom, this guy. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely, I would say I'm a mama's boy. And, uh, um, what was the last age you were when your mom saw you naked? Probably not that long ago. Wait, how old? Like, like, you're, you're like, uh, like you're like your twenties? Yeah. She saw you fully, she saw your penis. Yes. <laughs> oh. Is, That's that a, a, is that a Texas thing? <laughs> yeah. What was the um what was the scenario when she saw it? I was tanning outside naked and she saw me naked. That's not what happened. Wow, um, I'm inside a Pornhub right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready to meet next day. I'm you excited. guys ready to meet next day? No. Make some noise! Guys, put your hands together for Kate! Oh my god, Kate, right here, to your, uh, one to your left. Kate, yep. Kate, 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 Kate. Guys, show some more love to Kate walking out of the stage. So, Kate, um, briefly, tell the crowd who you are and the kind of guy you're looking for tonight up here. Well, you know, I'm just kind of looking for a nice guy. Not like a nice guy, like, I'm, a, I'm nice and girls don't like me. Like, actually, you know, good at talking, sociable, uh, take care of himself. You know, like, like someone with a good sense of humor. I mean, animal lover would be a, a bonus for me. By animal lover, uh, is there an animal that you wouldn't like him to love, or...? <sighs> No, I'm pretty much good with anything. On even even cockroaches, I don't care. That's wow! Fine. Oh my God! You, you weird. do you like guys that are very generous? Uh, <laughs> so a guy that's like a giver. A giver. Yeah. I mean, sure. Yeah. No, I love. Yeah. No. Depends what he gives. Does he give me a lot of shit? Because then no. But like. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. Uh, you know, a guy that gives you like a souvenir when he travels. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, that, sure. That kind of guy. Yeah, um, sure. What look-wise, like on a more specific way, what would be the perfect guy to step out here? No, I don't have a height requirement. I'm 5'4", so it's, as long as you're 5'4", I can work with it. Oh, and that's... Uh, that's, that's, that's cool. Cool. We travel a lot, but, you know, we're based out of New York, and it doesn't matter. We had a girl on that was 4'8". We go, what's your height requirement? She goes, like, I will not go near a guy that's not at least 6'4". Does she want to just, like, smell his ball sack when she hugs him? Like, what is, what is she trying to do? I like Kate, man. That's... I think Kate is uh, cool. And Kate, we're in Texas. They say everything is bigger here, especially, you know, the, you know, the schlong. How, how important a size to you? Is there a size that's too big in Texas? Uh, you know, if it's, if it's bigger than eight, it's too much for Kate. I can't go beyond that. Too much. Too much. And, and why that number specifically? Um, I just think, like, at that point, who's enjoying it? You know, that's just excessive. He's all going to be wanting to ram it in there. It's like, I, there's the wall, and that's as far as it goes, you know? You got to um, calm down. Kate, what would be something this guy could do when you meet him in a couple of minutes to just get you really excited? Mm. Just be really excited. He just sounds stupid, but if he has his dog as his home screen on his phone, that's a good guy. Aww. I mean, I like Kate. Uh, I love Kate. Give it up for Kate. Give it up for Kate. Give it up. All right, Kate, you're about to meet your future lover. Oh. What's going through your head right now? I hope he smells decent. That'd be well, great. Well, we'll, uh, we'll determine that. Guys, welcome back to the stage, Sir Nicholas. Woo! Big Dick Nick. Big 
Nick. Nick. So Nick, um, next to you is Kate. Kate, what do you what do you want to say to this guy Nick right now who just came up with the big you know everyone was cheering for his song. Why are they cheering for you? <gasps> nose. Oh. Well, thank you. Can I feel a nose? Where's Where's the face? Sure. I don't know. Is that the nose? It's kind of soft. It's okay. Yeah. Sorry, right. not bad. Do you want to smell him as well? Sure. Smell test. No, raise your pit. You gotta make sure. He showered. Woo! So, Kate, when you're on a date with a guy in Houston, what's something you roll up to the date? You're like, what? The, you know, this is just. I gotta find this out right away. What are those things? What do you do for fun? What are your hobbies? If you had like a day off, sunbathing. No obligations. <laughs> what? No, no, not then. I, I was not. Anyway, I tan a lot. Um, Nick. So, so Nick, answer, answer um, Kate's question, please. Probably just go get a coffee, go for a run, and uh, do some sunbathing, like you said. Okay. What, is that it? Like, you're going to sunbathe all day after the run? Get some coffee? Okay. Go to the gym, go play some golf. And... <laughs> And Nick, Golf. You, interesting. And okay. Nick, do you have a dog? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, what kind of dog? Oh! What is your screensaver on your phone? Uh, just the sun. <laughs> the sun? <laughs> You're this guy kind of the sun, baby. <laughs> so I have a question. If there was no sun, Nick, um, <laughs> what would your activity, like if someone said it's going to rain every day, for the next year, what would your main activity be? I would hang out with my dog. Oh, Kate. What kind of dog is it? Uh, he's a Frenchie. He's a Frenchie, oh, oh. That's kind of a dog. It's more like a, a cat that Ooh. the dog pass over it a little whoa, bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> do, do you have a dog? I have three, yes. I have three. Okay. What kind? Golden Retriever, Border Collie, and Caucasian Shepherd. Do you know what a Caucasian Shepherd is? I know Golden Dreamer and Border Collie. That's all it's I, that's a, all I uh, know. They're giant guardian dogs used in uh, the most, most high-level criminal s prisons in uh, Russia. They, they will kill on sight. Yeah. So they don't have to go through your dog to get to you? Is yeah, that what's going yeah, on? You do, yeah, you, have, you do. Yeah. And so do you think your dogs will get along with mine? Or? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Oh, and Kate, what color on a guy um, do you like the most, and what color do you like the least for him to wear? Are we talking about clothing or skin? Cl what are we asking here? <laughs> Cl clothing. Clothing. I, I don't really have a clothing color preference as long as it, you know, doesn't look like he's trying to be in high school still. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Oh. Oof. What about a muscle preference on a guy? Uh, I think fit is good, but fit has a lot of different muscle sizes, you know? There's some skinny fit guys, there's some, you know, more bulky fit ones, you know? Uh, Kate, you're a good... Can I, can I feel your arms? Yeah, yeah that's, a good, that's a good point. Let's see. Oh. Oh, the triceps on. Okay, okay. All right, that's, that's okay. Do you want to feel his chest maybe, Tim? Sure, I'll feel it. Let me see. Uh, unbutton it. Unbutton it. Unbutton it. Nick, unbutton your shirt for everybody. Come on! Everyone, give it up for Nick! Oh my God! Oh! Faster! 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 Nick, flex! Flex! Yo! Hey, do you want to feel his abs? Where are they? Uh, eh? Where are they? Oh! Oh, no! No! I'll just, I'll just pie this back up then. Oh. It's okay. It, felt, it has potential. They're in there somewhere, I'm sure. So what's the final things you need to find out about this guy right here, Kate? What is your ideal, uh, let's say, 
dream home look like? Like, what habitat are we talking about that you're wanting to get? Wow. What are, you, are you city boy? Are you like country? What type of area? Like, where would you want to live? Uh, some sort of ranch on a lake, I would say. Okay. That's, that's decent. Thank All you. right. Yeah. And, and Kate. And, and what would you uh, buy for that house? Yeah. What would I buy for the house? Yeah. What, like, what would be something you would deck it out? In? Yeah. A boat, cars. ATVs, trucks, guns. Okay. okay. Yeah, this guy likes that. Okay. Kate, you like that? I mean, it's not bad. I've heard worse for sure. Yeah. Nick is a romantic guy. He, I mean, he, he really is. Like, I really romantic like. Romantic how? How, Nick, he, yeah, how Nick. want you to tell me how you're romantic? I don't like going on dates that often, so I wouldn't say I'm too romantic. But if I do get a relationship with a girl, I will treat her the right way and take her on the dates that I want to. Whoa. What does treating her the right way mean? There's so many different definitions of that. I'll spoil her. What would you spoil her with? Dates, trips, dinners. Generosity. Do you want to say how you would spoil Kate in the bedroom if it worked? Yeah. Are you like a dominant or like, do you want me to step on you or like, what's happening? I, I would prefer to be in the dominant position. Okay. So you wanna, do, Nick, do you wanna get a little bit more specific with Kate as to what would go on in this bedroom? Well, I would like for you to tell me what you like and then I would like for you to let me do those things to you. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. That's, that's actually, actually the best okay. answer we've ever yeah. heard. Of. Yo, Nick's yeah. a gentleman, bro. He's gonna, he says he's gonna listen. Yeah. What kind of girls do you typically end up attracting as as dates? You know, is there like a general some personality type or maybe age? What, what type of girls do I attract? What, what is their personality like? How old are they too? Like just out of curiosity. All, all age ranges. You are the most vague person alive. <laughs> this yeah. is not a specific opinion ever. <laughs> He's <laughs> legit in the CIA, this guy. He's like, I like all body types, all ages, all everything. Bro, this guy could be on trial for anything. They'd just be like, all right, we're tired. We're going to go home tonight. <laughs> He's very calculated in a way, which makes me think he's... Boring. That's maybe he thinks he's boring. Oh! What? Yo! Yo! Fuck! Fuck! Brandon, there's someone out there who's been sending me dog pictures... ...all day, and he just said, I'm not boring, my dogs aren't boring, and the, and the sex with me... It would be the craziest thing you've ever experienced. Right. <laughs> Let's just quickly hear this guy's pitch okay. yeah. and take it from there. Sure. Before they see the camera. Sure. Let's hear the pitch. Is there a James in the crowd? You're going to get one minute. Whoa. Whoa. So James, first off, um, uh, hello. Hello. First, just tell the crowd, um, just quickly tell them what you want them to know about you. Just very briefly. I live the American dream, grew up really poor. I, I tell people I grew up on the, uh, not, I didn't grow up on the Silver Spoon, I grew up on the Taco Bell Spork, right? But now I, I own a business, right? I employ people, I, I'm living the American dream. I've done most things that people in their 40s will do when I was, uh, early in my 20s, we'll put it that way, right? Um, I love to travel. I've been to more countries than states. Um, I love to dance. Uh, I've got two adorable dogs. Uh, they're not small. What kind? Uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback mix and a white animal. Yo! Yeah. And James, how would you describe your, your form of generosity in the bedroom? I think it starts before the bedroom, right? You do talk to her and ask her, right? I speak four languages, too. <gasps> he speaks four languages. Oh, wow. James, last question. You just saw Nick go on a date with Kate. Why, like, any advice for Nick on why, you know, he kind of 
he tossed the bag. He didn't, he didn't win Kate over. I think we all saw that too. Um, oh! I, I would say this. I would, if I was your coach, I would say just be more vulnerable and just, just don't be scared to lose her. Like, just tell her the answer and don't be scared. Just hand it to it. Some, some women are going to love you. Some women are not. That's just the way it is. Just roll the dice and let it play out. Yo, that was fucking beautiful! James, 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 James! I want you to pitch yourself directly to Kate right now. Tell her what you like about her and why why you you have feelings for her. Oh, All right, so that's the little side, because I can see you, but you can't see me. I will say you are absolutely adorable, right? But what really attracted me to you was the fact that you don't take shit. You're giving him shit, and it's fun to watch. I choked on my water when you're making fun of me. <gasps> um, and I, I think that you have either have a hard background you came from, and you've become mature through that, right? Mm -hmm. Or something that you've got a maturity to that I like. I don't feel like you're going to be a girl that has to take care of like a kid that's going to follow around like a poodle or something. Or right. a Frenchie. Yeah. Oh! Yo! I couldn't help it. I really my Frenchie's a much better wingman than you, James. Oh. Yeah, but that's because you feed your Frenchie. He's biased. It's different. Kate, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you want this guy to walk back to his seat, or do you want him to stay up here? Oh my God! Wait, Harrison, grab the chair. So, Kate, what about? James's pitch just now grabbed your attention the most. He actually was specific about things about him, which was really, really nice and refreshing. Um, and he sends to he talks about how he came from like a, a, a rougher upbringing, you know, and now he's turned his life around, and that's really inspiring, you know. I just feels like he's not, you know, getting mommied around and being told what to do. It's good. It's nice. <laughs> Sounds like an adult, an adult with a personality, you know. Nick, do you want to save yourself here? Anything you want to say back? I'm going to say something in French real quick. Whoa. That explains it. Now I'm seeing the Frenchie, yeah. Tu sais pas ce que tu vas rater, chérie. And, and do you want to translate that to English? This is Houston. We only speak American here. You have to translate for the rest of us. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If that's your mentality, then no. Wait, James, don't you speak another language? Not French, but... Say like, something really hot or sexy to Kate in, a, in this language. I won't understand it, but yeah, let's... You can say anything. Ni hao, bao bei. Ni hao, ma. Oh. Let me think of it. Como estas, bella? What? Como estas, bella? Damn. What Como estas, bella? That is the worst Spanish accent ever. Oh! Oh my god. You just said he tries too hard? Si vas a hablar en español, tienes que hablar en español la buena manera. Should we see James's body? <laughs> Please. Yeah. Do you want to do a quick lift, James? Or? I'm going to decline, but she can touch me if she wants. Oh, okay. What would okay. you like to touch? Where, where, where is your chest? Okay. Okay, he can flex it. All right. Okay, yeah. He's got some muscle there. I can flex my chest, too. Too bad you can't see. I'm smitten. I have no words. <laughs> wow. All right, so James, do you have any final words? I mean, she's heard my story. I mean, she's not gonna let the crowd like sway her. She's not that type of girl, I can tell. So make your choice if you want. You don't have to date either one of us. You can walk out of here. 
Nick, do you have any final words? I mean, I can tell that she's a girl that doesn't like to take a lot of shit, and I like that about her. And if she can tell me how she really feels like that, then that's something I'm, t I'm attracted to. Whoa! Oh, okay. All right. You are going to make a decision right now, Kate, before you see these men. Okay. You met Nick, and then James mm -hmm. came up with that stoic, sexy, beautiful fucking pitch with that poor Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. You know, that's like three more languages than I speak, so it's fine. That's, it's impressive. All, All right. It's impressive. So, Kate, on that note, Kate, what is your decision in five, four, three, two, one? James. James. All right. So, Kate, the blindfolds are gonna come off and you are gonna point to the guy you are more physically attracted to and you are gonna be honest. So on that note, everyone up here, take your blindfolds off. Kate, point to the guy you are more attracted to in five, four, three, two, one. It's tough. One of them looks like my brother, but I don't know if that's... <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, literally. <laughs> who, who are you leaning towards, Kate? Just say it's who. Like facially, Nick. Personality-wise, James. So overall... I feel so good right now. <laughs> so, Kate, overall... Overall. You, you met them both. You heard them both. You see them both. Which guy overall are you more interested in, Kate? In five, four, three, two, one. I think James. Oh! So, do you want to kiss James? I don't usually kiss that fast. How about a hug? You want a hug? Hug is good. Oh. How about cheek kiss? Cheek kiss? I can do cheek kiss. There we go. And Nick, do you have any final words? I'm uh, happy she chose James. Uh, well, oh. Well, well, Nick, Nick, I have some good news for you. There's a girl in the crowd. Yeah! And how about he just sees her? Yeah, keep the blindfolds off. Yeah, do it. All right, we're gonna bring up. Her name is Natalie. And you're you're gonna have. Come on up. You're gonna have one minute. Oh. All right, Natalie. Welcome. You're gonna stand right here, Natalie. What is your pitch to Nick in three, two, one? We can both go to the gym at the same time and have a good time. <gasps> oh. Cardio at the gym and out of the gym. Oh. And what did you find hottest and coolest and nicest and sweetest and hottest about Nick? He goes to the gym. He looks good. He's good in pink. Not everyone can and we can match. Nick, man. What are you thinking? She just came up for you. She gave the pitch. Are you interested? I'm definitely interested. And do you guys want to just make out right now? Nick, come on over here. a problem. Uh, that was a wild show. I didn't know who, who Amaranth was really until that night, and I think she was really interesting on the show. Just to give you the backstory, 
I got a call from a friend of mine. I was like, yo, bro, Amaranth is streaming updating to 10 bajillion followers. Tuned in. She was talking about her show. Instantly hit her up. And she's like, I'm down. I'm a super fan. Live in Houston. We got in touch with Amaranth and she came on the show. But what I love most about this episode, we called her Kate. Not many people know her as Kate. And Kate was genuine. She was real. I actually thought Nick was a really good guy. He was super, super honest. And like Nick's the kind of guy I would have loved to see in like a really dark, intimate room. He came on and was like subtle. And I think it really like played on this show. Nick with the tanning thing and his mom. Men who have interesting relationships with their with their mothers is always a cool topic to explore. This was a quirky, interesting show in an interesting room. There was a guy in the front row dressed like a cowboy getting a hand job during the show and that seemed almost more interesting than like some of the shit that was happening on stage at the end of the show <laughs> with the people making out. This was fun. Any show in Texas, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be wild. It was just fun. Hope you enjoy this. And guys, if you're watching this video right now and you don't subscribe to us, uh, I have a little challenge for you. Subscribe and then comment below in the video saying, I just subscribed. Brandon and I will both reply to every single comment that says you just subscribed. Do that and, you know, join this family. We call it a family. Love you. Updating, it's different in every single room and that's what makes a show so special. A lot of fans and people I meet on the road um, compare it to like jam bands they like. These bands that you just like seeing in different settings and that's what's been so special on the road, building that bond with everyone. So um, I can't wait to keep meeting you guys in all these different places spaces, venues, and seeing you there. Um, we are about to come to Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Wilmington, Pittsburgh. Um, those tickets are now available. Please come by. I'd love to keep meeting you. Each show has been so much fun. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in every single week. And please keep hitting subscribe.